Hello? Oh my god, hello? It's just a rainbow chilling in the middle of the street. Hey bird. I'm in Alaska. I got the sweatshirt on, the t-shirt long down underneath. Beautiful it is over there. I've been like this all day. I'm getting in Alaska the daylight. I can see the mountains. Honestly, Alaska's beautiful. Uh, it's December 30th. I was editing the last one. Not sure. Bro, I did not put the dates at the start of any of these. I feel a lot better. I'm gonna be trying to run it. My zero snow boots are actually quite comfortable. But yeah. I abandoned my entire route. I just went in a direction with the walkable sidewalk, and here we are. I'm accomplished. <laughs> Stretching out my legs. I really need to do that more. Honestly, I feel like I had one too many layers on, but I'd rather have it than not, you know? It was 3.2 something miles, so just over a little 5K. I hit the 5K target before I got here. But yeah, I don't know. Running in Alaska in the dead middle of winter. I ran until I hit 3K, and then I started kind of heading back. Overshot my guess. Anyway, I suck with directions. But yeah, hit my 15K goal for the week. I'm gonna keep at this 5K, 10K thing for January, I think. And instead of increasing running, try and just freaking legs, dude. It's not good. <laughs> gonna do a garment coach run today. See how it goes. It's cold, rainy, perfect. All right, the run ended up being, being good. I did a 521 in kilometer, I don't know. I finished my daily and I just wanted to say, these are looking kind of good. I have a food dropping in like a second for dinner at 8.25. 38 days of this daily, of 10 pull-ups, like throughout the day. And I've been into martial arts less than normal. Lean back a bit. I want to do this with legs straight out eventually. That's sick. I'm running back from Muay Thai right now. It's like, oh, 9.15, running down a hill. It just occurred to me I have to make a vlog this month. I've been so obsessed with Tetris, <laughs> uh, video-wise. Nothing too much to report, really, though. I feel great today. I gave up on the Garmin coach. I was not able to stick to their schedule. I have not been good about getting runs in. I'm gonna go for a run on Lake Tomorrow's 5K. I think keeping Sundays with my long run day is a good idea. Only problem is that's six miles. I need to be running 15K in February. I'm not worried about pace. I think pace-wise, I should be okay. It's great to run to and from Muay Thai Jiu Jitsu because it's up of this huge hill. <laughs> I feel so chilled out right now. I don't know. My cardio is getting really good, I think, which is really nice. Big ups, big ups, really. Too much PMG. I had a headlamp on, I got reflective in my backpack. That's it, there's really nothing exciting. It'll be a short one this month, I think. All right, because I'm finally remembering to do this. I'm getting much better at these. I'm, instead of this grip, I'm now pushing my knuckles, I don't know, my the little pads up and over. And I can I think I can get to 10, but I'm not gonna try. Left shoulder's hurting a little bit from jujitsu, my mistake, but Oof. Oof. just getting uh, different perspectives because you know it's how it be for the videos. I'm still doing 10 a day. I have not done anything else to improve my, my pull-up form. I'm doing a little too much of this, I think, and I need to do more of this. Well, anyway. Oh. Well, that's what I call chest to bar. All right, I am back from uh, Friday Muay Thai Fundamentals. My mental energy is so low, but I have so much shit to do tonight still. But I know that this vlog has to also get out and it's gonna be content and I also can't see this anymore. I've done five today, I'll do five right now. I have them up to 15 a day. They're looking good. I did 10 in a row yesterday. The last three or four were kind of shoddy. And an overhand grip, and I'm trying to keep my elbows out. Stretching, I need to do more of it. But I also ran two from Muay Thai. It's about 15 minutes to get there and back. That's not including the lights, because I paused the watch and everything. February is gonna be upping to maybe a 5K and two 10Ks, but the 5K is just coming from running through and from class. Enough for Jupiter gathering. These are the pull-ups so far, and hopefully they are satisfactory quality. But the, the important thing is, ow. The important thing is I'm holding myself um, properly and making myself up, which is my cats. Yeah. One. All the way from dead hang. Two. I do swing a little bit. Three. I think it's because of core. Hold on with just my fingers. 
pinch me. Four. Knuckles a bit. And five. So my arms are coming in a little bit here. I want to avoid that. I want to be out here. Um, to engage more of the back, less of the back. But that's five of those. I'm up to 40 push-ups a day. I can pretty much bang out 20 at this point. With or without parallettes, I haven't really been keeping track, but these are my push-ups. Try to go all the way up. So down, get to the top, scat push-up. Skips down, all the way down. That's three, four, five. What's important is that my scaps don't stay forward when I go down. Pushing up, I don't come down like this. My scaps go back, then I come down. Six, seven, eight. And that caused my first shoulder issue. Ten, okay. <sighs> and my mobility practice has been shit. All right, it's Wednesday night. It's the 30th, getting a 10K, and I was supposed to do it this morning. But at the same time, I also just don't want to be doing this. But alas, here I am. It's criminally warm here in Seattle. I'll check in with you after. Hopefully I'm not in existential dread like I was the last time I did it night. <laughs> on video. Past the 5K mark. Been running about 5.30 per kilometer. Just nine minute mile. It's a mental game. Ugh. Cause I remind myself about cool view on the lake. You know, I can run. I have the ability to run. That's what got me to run for a while during my COVID. Probably people who want to run who can't. And I know I need to do this for the future. It really comes down to. And for some reason, because I don't want to do this, knowing that there's almost definitely someone out there who does, helps me. I don't know. Uh, four and a half K to go. Wow. Uh, good run. We're just over 10K in 58 minutes and something. That was the first run I feel like I may have ever done where I didn't stop, first of all. I maintained pretty much the same pace throughout the entire run. Only my left leg went numb this time, my left foot. But then it stopped going numb after I gave my form some attention. I don't really know what's causing that. My guess is just muscle tightness. I feel confident that at that pace, 5.30 per kilometer, nine minute mile, I can do double that. Ooh. Oh, I set on my sweatshirt. I'm now, I want to take this moment, touch on a few things, three three things, to, to be clear at least. The first thing is that on Saturday, I felt like absolute shit. Excuse my French. I don't, there wasn't a cause. When I went to jiu-jitsu in the morning at 11, and then I did some sparring afterwards, someone from jiu-jitsu brought some cookies. I had a cookie, and then I had a second cookie, and I there was just this tangible shift in my mood. Mm. Oh yeah. I say this because I stopped by to get some junior mints and some chocolate. And I'm gonna eat those tonight. My run burned 877 calories, supposedly. And I'm just trying to be mindful of that. Point is, soul food. That cookie on Saturday, like, I, I just think I just hadn't given myself any allowances. And I, I don't know, maybe it was the sugar. I, I can't speak to what why it was whatever. Soul food, which is why I'm having chocolate right now. Everything in moderation. Um, and I think it's been a moderated time, kind of day, even though I'm about to have a metric butt ton of pasta. The second thing I wanted to talk about is that my, my pajama pants, absolutely fire. My third thing is the notion of certainty. Rest in peace reading rambles, am I right? It's called Run Elite. Train and Think Like the Greatest Runners of All Time by Andrew Snow. And the first 20% of the book was about mindset and mentality. I'm at 21%, so I have yet to read all the stuff about training. Right now, the author's just dispelling some myths and whatnot. But there's this notion of certainty. And this morning, I didn't go on my run because I remember last night knowing that I wasn't certain I was gonna go on the run. And it's like there's like this event horizon, this, this point of no return where you're certain about things. Going on this run, I was certain I was not gonna stop. When I turned on the Brain FM music especially, it was like, I've entered, it wasn't runner's high. I, I didn't hit that point. I don't know how to explain it, but there's this idea of certainty that I've been exploring mentally lately. If you can convince yourself that you're just certain of an outcome, game development has not really become about the game anymore. It's been about what's gonna happen after I make the game. Worrying about what comes after I make a game presupposes I've made the game, which is the right mentality, I think. For some reason in a race, when I did the Spartan 10K in September, I was gonna finish. It wasn't really an option. I don't know how to explain this. I'm still kind of discovering it on my own. I wanted to share that at the end of this video because that's what I've kind of been exploring this past month. What I am certain about is I'm gonna eat some chocolate and junior mints 
and just hyper condensed sugar flavored juice drink mango madness by Snapple and put myself into a carbo coma even though I woke up this morning feeling bleh. I will catch you next month. Thank you so much for watching, but uh, I appreciate you checking in with my own accountability up. See you at the end of February. And then it's the first race. Then it's the 21K. Cool.